Hey guys, I'm TV presenter and part-time comedian Johnny Smugface. Perhaps you've seen my Channel 4 documentary, Racism in Nature, A Forest Full of Bigotry. Or maybe you've heard my hit podcast, 100 Foods of Patriarchal Oppression and How to Eliminate Them from Your Diet. Listen guys, this second lockdown has been a real blessing. It's given all of us time to grow, time to reflect, time to acknowledge that we need to make changes in our lives, whether that be reducing our carbon footprint, adopting a rescue dog or just trying to spend less time crying. Personally, this lockdown has been an intense period of self-discovery for me. I picked up an oboe from a charity shop at the start of November and I can now play it to orchestral standard. I've basically worked my way through all of Russian literature. I've completed Gogol, Turgenev, Dostoevsky and Tolstoy and frankly, I'm astonished I didn't get around to it sooner. I've been getting up at five, running every day, whether it be just a quick 10k or a full marathon. And this past week, I've been wearing a dress in solidarity with Harry Styles, which has got me some really strange looks in Tesco. But sometimes you have to be the change you want to see in the world. Many of you won't have achieved anything like that much during this lockdown, but it's never too late to start working on yourselves, guys. Self-improvement is the path to happiness. At the start of this month, I could never have imagined that I could be a more impressive human being than I already was. But here I am, just three weeks later, healthier, fitter, more empathy, more charisma, more intelligent, and most of all, more self-aware. Remember, just because you might be a loser right now doesn't mean you can't change. I mean, I've never been a loser, so I don't know how hard it is to shake off. But good luck with it and enjoy the rest of the lockdown, guys, whether it be for two weeks, another two months or two years. Remember, it's only as fun or as miserable as you choose to make it, yeah?